breaking barriers is something two women on the Navajo Nation know plenty about. For the first time in its history, the Navajo Nation has a female vice president and a female speaker of the council. What I found out recently is that their legacy goes way beyond politics and is inspiring the next generation of female leaders. For Navajo Nation Council Speaker Crystalyn Curley, her family always knew she was destined for greatness. My grandfather always told me, you know, one day you're going to be a leader, one day you're going to speak for us. And from a young age, that expectation of excellence also translated into an expectation of hard work that knew no gender boundaries. My grandfather just, okay, if you're a girl, you know, you should be able to chop wood too, yeah, just like the boys. But it sounds like growing up, there weren't really, your family didn't really see any difference in the genders. Yeah, and I think um, that's a great thing to teach in the home. Something else taught in Speaker Curley's home, resilience, which has come in handy with some of her critics. There's always uh, oppositions, you know, within my region of the Navajo Nation is very conservative and meaning traditionalists. And, but coming from, you know, grandfathers that were medicine men, you know, that encouraged me to speak and to talk and make tough decisions at a very young age. It's a happy feeling. It's also a, oh my gosh, um, I need to do better. I need to do my best. For Vice President Rochelle Montoya, there have also been challenges along the way, often dealing with gender norms. I've been told that I'm rude and I'm mean because I don't stop and chit chat or say hi. What I think is if a man were in this position and he was walking through the office with determination on his face and um, he, he's, he's being um, looked at as, oh, he's busy, he's working, he's, 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 he's got a goal that he's trying to complete. Nobody says that he's rude or mean. But Vice President Montoya says any criticism has been worth it when she remembers the glass ceilings she shattered. And when I talk to little, to our younger generation of women, they're they're very excited to see me and excited to hear what I'm doing and what um, accomplishments that I would like to have happen. For the vice president, a letter from a student sticks out more than anything else. She wrote that she was going to be president of the Navajo Nation, and she said that her family would be like, "Oh, that's that can't happen." You know, they would laugh at her, and she says, "You made my letter come true." So it it's it's. That's basically what all our young women feel now. For Speaker Curley, she's hoping to leave her female constituents with a powerful lesson. One thing that I always say for our young Navajo women, children, young girls is anything is possible. Uh, such an eye-opening conversation with both leaders. Vice President Montoya and Speaker Curley aren't the only female trailblazers on the Navajo Nation. In 2020, the Navajo Nation welcomed its first ever all-female Supreme Court. So a lot of glass ceilings getting broken there on the Navajo Nation. And just starting, right? Yes. Just starting so that our girls can see, I can do this too. Right. If you can see it, you can be it. It's very true. Thank you for that.